What is up everyone? As you can tell, this is a new space. This is a new, new set, new location. A lot has happened over the past few months as I've gotten this place. So what you're seeing me right now is in basically a warehouse. It's like a unit slash warehouse and I've turned it into sort of like a studio space. Now I do want to preface this video by saying that it's not finished, it's nowhere near finished <laughs> and it's never going to be finished because the whole point of this place is that it's a transforming place you could say. It's a place that's always changing, it's a place where I can always add things, take things away. It's a place that's not going to be as nice and perfect as my home is. That's the whole point of it. I want it to look basically more industrial looking, more like an actual workspace rather than mess up my own home. <laughs> it's funny because I think to myself, you know, when you go through life, there are different chapters, you could say. There are different points in your life that are very memorable. Whether that be moving house, getting a new job or something like that, there are always sort of chapters, points in your life. And I feel like this is a new chapter for me, having this new space, having this new office space, having this new warehouse, very much a new chapter for me. And it's an exciting chapter because I've got this place for at least three years. Um, I can have it up to six years, maybe longer if I wanted it to. So it'd be interesting to see what happens to this place and whether I'm here for three years or whether I end up actually going to an even bigger place. Who knows? Things can change very quickly, especially when it comes to running an online business, doing anything on the internet. So I wanted to show you guys around, show you everything that's going on, show you the setup in here, because a lot of you have been asking for it. And like I said, nothing is perfect in here. Everything is an actual mess in here. Nothing is finished. It looks like an absolute tip. But like I said, you know, it's always sort of changing, always evolving. I'm always going to be changing things around. So anyway, I'll stop waffling and actually show you the place. Okay, so this is where we're going to start. And as you can tell, <laughs> there is a lot going on. This is all rubbish. The same with the stuff here, sort of just rubbish and packaging that needs to go into the tip, needs to be recycled. Um, because we've purchased a lot of stuff over the past uh, sort of few months trying to get this place ready. So it's a, the bottom floor is 1,500 square feet. And then I think the top floor is another 750, 700 square feet. So around 2,500 square feet. So a pretty large place actually. And it's funny because on this side, there's actually a large shutter door. So technically I can get my car in here. I can get a truck in here if I want to do. And I have like a 16 amp socket here. So I can just plug my car in, no problem, which is pretty nice. So we recently did have the place painted. All of this was sort of like a yellowish. You can actually see it's yellowish up there, but then white here. So we've had it painted white. Um, we still need to finish things off. Like you can see this gap here. It's like, it's, it's weird. I don't know what material is in there, but we've like sealed it many times, but it still keeps coming through. So I might just add skirting or something. We have concrete floors, which are apparently very good condition concrete floors. They just need a good clean. I'll put up some before images so you can see what it was like before and what it's like now. If we go around, so like I said, all this needs to go in the bin. This is just rubbish um, and needs to be recycled. So we have like a little sofa set up here um, with a rug that literally just came today. And we put weights on it on that end just to weigh it down, just to get it sorted. Got this rug from Wayfair, very affordable. I think it was like 160 pounds, something like that. The sofa is an old sofa from Ikea. I actually had this in my old office space years ago. So I've just sort of brought it over. If I move around, we have a projector screen up here. Uh, this projector screen was added very last minute um, and I don't think it's going to be permanent. It's for an upcoming video, so watch out for that. There is an upcoming video. We have a nice light. I really like this light. I love this light. Let me turn it on so you can see what it looks like. It's like an LED strip light that gives a really nice warm glow and it lights up this whole area here. So there will be a media unit a TV unit, media unit that goes across this wall here. And the whole point of this setup here is to be able to do TV reviews, projector reviews, things like that, and also have a sort of area where you can sit down and play games and whatever else. I'm actually not gonna show you the upstairs because it's really not interesting. It's all just storage, it's all boxes. There is nothing really interesting up there. So I'm not gonna bother sh showing you the upstairs, but I can show you the entrance and Charlie's desk. So this is Charlie's desk setup that he has. Uh, he needs to put a leg in the middle because I can see it bowing from here. <laughs> but he just has a simple setup here with the Dell uh, P2715Q. It's a 4K monitor, um, which he uses with his MacBook Pro and an IKEA Marcus chair. This desk as well is from IKEA. Felt desk mat, which we are bringing to the store very soon. 
um, some fake plants and stuff. And then over here we have our sort of kitchenette, fridge freezer. Again, not really all that, all that interesting. And that over there is actually the entrance. So this is the entrance. This is the door we'd usually come through when we come in. And again, a lot of, a lot of mess here. Um, mirror there, hello. Um, toilet and everything, as you can tell, it is not finished. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done, really. Um, same with this area. Need to tidy this area up. Currently got our internet coming in, but I have paid for a leased line. So I should be getting a gigabit down, a gigabit up very soon. Just waiting for that to be installed. The ceilings as well were terrible. Now we've got the actual proper office sort of ceilings. And of course they're not the best looking, but they're very cheap. And the great thing is, if at some point I want to have like a Batman style setup where every single panel is a light, I can do that. That's why I have this setup right now. So that if any time in the future I want to add lights all over, I can do that. So let's go through to my studio slash office. Uh, we actually have a projector here that works on there. So yeah, you should, you'll see a video on that very soon. I also have an Ikea slash Sonos collab uh, picture frame speaker. It's actually really good. It sounds really good. I'm not gonna play anything because of copyright, but yeah. So let's go into my office slash studio space. Uh, it's a bit later actually, because I had some things to do, but yeah, we're here now. If we go in, we have my desk set up here on the right, but we'll go on to that in a sec. We'll actually start over here on the left. So on the left, I have this huge, absolutely ginormous shelving unit from a company called Tilco. And basically it's a do-it-yourself furniture shelving unit sort of similar to Ikea, but it's much higher quality than Ikea. Much, much higher quality. It's really, really good. Been very, very impressed by it. On the left-hand side, I have a lamp from Wayfair uh, with a marble base and a gold stem. Looks very nice with a lampshade. I'll leave links to everything in the description, of course, because I know a lot of you will be requesting it. This door here needs to go because it's disgusting. <laughs> it's really not a nice door and it really does need to go. And you can see it's got paint and stuff on it. It's just a very old door, but yeah, that needs to go. Like I said, with this Tilco shelving unit, it's one of their new ones, it's the matte black one. So I was lucky enough to get one just as they launched it. And it's awesome because you can customize it just the way you like. You can change the width, the height, the density of the compartments. You can add your doors, drawers, whatever you wanna do. So for example, if we go have a look, that's a door, but then this is a drawer. <laughs> and yeah, you can pick and choose how you want it to work. Um, and it'll be awesome actually for me because I can store a lot of stuff away, especially when it comes to um, tech gear, photography gear, camera gear, whatever else. I can just store it all away in there whilst also not being seen. I do still need to decorate it, as you can tell. I have not decorated it whatsoever. So I need to get some ornaments and some nice stuff just to put on the shelving unit to look good. Because as you can probably tell with this space, it looks like a prison. <laughs> it just looks terrible because I, I've added no personality whatsoever, but that is incoming. I'm going to add some artwork on the walls and stuff, um, add some more furniture, add some more lighting, because yeah, it's, it's not the nicest place right now. The plan is to have my studio here. So when I record my videos and stuff, a roll, I'll have a desk here. My light and stuff is here, microphone stand, and I'll do all my videos here. So this will be the backdrop over here. Um, so yeah, looking forward to having that set up. Over here, I have a Govi light. So I've actually covered this in a recent video. Nice Govi light that I can control with a remote. And it actually looks good on camera. Doesn't flicker or anything. So it's pretty cool. Have another tube light here from Godox. If I turn this on, just another light there. It's at like 10%, so yeah. At, it's bright at 10%, so you can imagine that 100% is super bright. Will be good for B-roll and videos and just adding another light to my setup. Nothing over here yet. Um, I have my Manphoto tripod, microphone stand. I also have this new light that I just bought. This is the Godox SL60. Awesome light for sort of like a key light for video. You can see actually there is a screen on the back and some controls. So you can change the brightness, turn it on and off, whatever you want to do. On the front of it, I have got a newer uh, 
80 centimeter octagon sort of thing, uh, soft box. Yeah, will give me a really nice soft light. As you can probably tell, you can't see it because it's just so bright. Because um, I've got it lighting up obviously in my office area so that you can see my office area. Yeah, awesome. I will be using that for a lot of my video from now on. And then over here we have my actual workspace setup, which is an absolute mess. <laughs> the cable management really needs some work. The desk itself needs some work. But a lot of what you see here is temporary. It is going to change because I need to get a standing desk. But I'll go through what I have right now. I have an IKEA desk here, a gray top IKEA desk um, on some IKEA legs. Have my Pro Display XDR, of course. Um, and yeah, monitor arm. This monitor arm, again, is just temporary. I have it for now. It's by a company called Envision. Yeah, very fancy. I mean, it is a good monitor arm. It's not cheap whatsoever. It's much more solid than what I have at home. It supports the Pro Display XDR very well. Also has some nice cable management sort of system here, which is quite clever. I just actually need to hide the cables under the desk. So that I need to do at some point because I do actually have cable management over there. Cable management system that I haven't unboxed yet, which will be going on the desk. If we go around and actually look at my setup. So Pro Display XDR, uh, lens, 24, 1.4 lens. MacBook Pro M1, 13 inch. And then I also have this awesome Anker Apex Thunderbolt 4 dock. My MacBook only supports Thunderbolt 3. So this is future proof pretty much. Um, so if Apple bring out a new MacBook with Thunderbolt 4, I won't have to worry, it'll be future proof. I actually have one of their older Thunderbolt 3 docks at home. I highly recommend that to anyone who asks. So I recommend this one too. If we move back around to the workspace itself, like I said, Pro Display XDR. And then over here, I've got my ULX mouse pad, of course, leather mouse pad, magic keyboard, magic mouse, uh, magic keyboard. I feel like I should really change it, but I've just gotten so used to it. I keep using it. An IKEA mug, and I've also got this awesome Really, really awesome MagSafe charger from a company called Native Union. Just sick, like it's just so cool, so useful. I can just put my phone there, have it charging, and also see it at the same time. And it's built like an absolute tank. It's super, super heavy, super, super sturdy. Comes with a really nice sort of braided cable as well. Awesome, I love that thing. Recommend that for sure. Over here, I have a Bester unit. The sun is really shining through and making everything super bright. I need to get, I need to get blinds here <laughs> so the sun doesn't shine through so I can keep this room completely dark. But anyway, an Ikea Bester unit with just random stuff on it. Um, the box for that Thunderbolt dot that I was just talking about. Microfiber cloths from Amazon. These are just black ones. A plant from a company called Patch Plants. Unfortunately, they actually sent me the wrong one. So that's going to be going back and I'm going to be getting another one. This light here, pretty awesome. So the marble base is from Ikea, but the bulb is from Philips Hue. So if I turn it on, da, da, da. there we go, we're on. You can see it's super bright, but with Philips Hue, of course, you can change the brightness um, and turn it on and off, make it all smart if you want to. Awesome. Um, will be useful for sort of videos and backdrops, just accent lighting. I like it. Uh, let's turn it off because it is super bright. Uh, sort of like IKEA storage. Yeah, cool. Another plant here from Patch Plants. My box for the Pro Display XDR, tools and stuff. And yeah, that is a pretty much uh, a quick overview of my office slash studio space. Right, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of stuff changing in here. I'll also be doing my videos from in here from now on pretty much. My desk as well will be changing. There's a lot of stuff I wanna change. I wanna make it a standing desk. I wanna add cable management, all sorts of stuff. Also, I need to change this Bester unit here. I need to add another sideboard over here. There's just so much going on here, so much to do. Um, so yeah, follow my Instagram where I'll always be posting updates and stuff. Make sure to subscribe because I will have more update videos. I'll have another workspace video once this is all finished. It will look so much better than what it looks right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, whatever. See you guys later.